As mentioned earlier in the video series, it is possible to access a 12D model license from a standalone co-meter dongle, which is plugged into your workstation, or access a 12D model license from a network co-meter dongle, which is plugged into a server computer. A dongle style 4D file is used to indicate where the 12D model client should look for a license. For example, to look locally first and then on the network, or on the network first and then locally. If you are only using a standalone co-meter dongle plugged into your workstation, you do not need to create a dongles.4d file. This is because a dongles.4d file is provided with the install of 12d model, and this file tells 12d model to look locally for a standalone dongle only. However, if you will be using a USB network co-meter dongle, you will need to set up a custom dongles.4d file. Launch the 12D model client, and then you can create the dongles.4D file by the project startup panel, dongles.4D button. What is loaded here is the default installed dongles.4D file. And you can see that this one is only used for standalone, also known as local, Weeboo and CodeMeter dongles. In our situation, we have both a standalone and network code meter dongle and will not be using Weeboo dongles. So we will delete both of these entries and start from scratch. Select add to add in a new code meter entry. You'll notice in the list of dongle options that there are code meter local and code meter auto local, as well as code meter network and code meter auto network options. By selecting the code meter local or code meter network options, specific standalone or network code meter dongles, as well as specific containers within these network code meter dongles can be referenced. These options are usually selected when you have multiple of each dongle type being used in your organization which have varying module configurations. Selecting code meter auto local will default to using the license in the standalone dongle attached to your workstation, which is commonly selected in organizations that share standalone code meter dongles between users. Selecting code meter auto network will default to using a license from the first dongle the search comes across on the network, which is commonly selected when an organization only uses one network code meter dongle and all the licenses have similar module configurations. In my situation, I can access licenses from either a standalone or network code meter dongle. If I were working for a larger organization, I may not have permanent access to a standalone code meter dongle because it may be shared around to other users. It is common to assume in this type of situation that if I have the standalone code meter attached to my workstation, then I would prefer to use the license from the standalone code meter rather than from the network. For this reason, the first entry in my dongles.4d file will be either code meter local or code meter auto local. In general, select code meter auto local if you just want to use the license on the standalone code meter that is attached to your workstation and you're not concerned about its specific module configuration. This is what I will select as I only have one standalone code meter. Select code meter local if your organization has multiple standalone code meters that are shared between users, which have differing module configurations, and you want to reference a specific standalone code meter which contains a license that has a specific module configuration required for your modeling purpose. In the video following this one titled Referencing Specific Code Meters and Containers, we will be demonstrating a situation where multiple standalone code meters, as well as multiple USB network code meter containers, are required to be specifically referenced in the dongles.4d file, as we will have a specific modeling purpose, such as for road design, drainage design, or surveying. For this video, however, my second entry in the dongles.4d file will be code meter auto network because although my network code meter 
does have multiple containers with varying module configurations, I just want to take a license from the network and I'm not fussed as to which specific license I take. So what these two entries now indicate is that 12D model will attempt to access a license from a standalone code meter first, then if that is not successful, either because I do not have a standalone code meter attached to my computer, or I do not have the necessary nodes.4D file for the standalone code meter attached to my computer, 12D model will then attempt to access a license from the network code meter. If a network code meter cannot be found, or I do not have the necessary nodes.4D file for the network code meter, 12D model will not open and you will receive an error message. When writing out the dongles.4D file, we are presented with a few options as to where to save the file. In a following video covering the env underscore configs.4D file, we will show that you are able to specify a non-standard search location for the dongles.4D file. If a dongles.4D search location is specified in the env underscore configs.4d file, this location will be searched first. If one is not specified in the env underscore configs.4d file, and if a dongles.4d file is found in the user folder, it will be used. If in neither of these locations a dongles.4d file is found, then the dongles.4d file shipped with 12d in the setups folder will be used. I will save this dongles.4d file in the standard user folder location C12D14 user. It is important to note that the location C12D14, seen here as the current folder, is not a standard search location for the dongles.4d file as it is for the nodes.4d file. As with the nodes.4d file, it is common to have the dongles.4d file stored and accessed from a central server location so that everyone in your organization is using the same dongles.4d file. For the purpose of this demonstration and for the benefit of future videos in this series, I will take a copy of the dongles.4d file we saved in the user folder and paste it in the folder on my desktop that we saved the nodes.4d file, which is acting as my non-standard server location. I will then create a new demo 12D model project and remove the entry from the registry file field where we would usually enter an env underscore configs.4d file. 12D model when opening will now only search the standard search path order for our setup files and most notably for the nodes.4d and dongles.4d setup files. When the new project is created, in the output window and under startup, we can view which setup files we used. And we can see that the nodes.4d file has come from the C12D14 location and the dongles.4d file has come from the C12D14 user folder location. So both our nodes.4d and dongles.4d files have been successfully loaded into the project. And you can see from the next line, log into dongle standalone code meter successful, that we have successfully logged in using the license on our standalone code meter, because it is the first one in our dongles.4d file list.